my name's Danielle and I'm a nurse at Oshner and I'm going to be reading NOLA the Nurse by Dr. Charmaine Lawson, NP, illustrated by Marvin Alonzo. Keep still, Gumbo, Nola said to her puppy. Nola wanted to be a nurse practitioner like her mother. She knew how to check temperatures and bandage cuts and bruises because she saw how her mother cared for her patients. He jumped up and ran off with the bandage, dragging on the ground behind him. Come back, Gumbo, no little Nola yelled as she chased after him. She bumped into her mother in the dining room. Trying to play nurse practitioner, her mother asked. She was wearing her nurse practitioner's outfit. She was going to work. Yes, mommy, and Gumbo won't sit still, so I can put a bandage on his leg, Nola sighed. Tell you what, Nola, let's have some lunch. Then you can come with me to visit some patients. We can come back later and chase Gumbo. Nola liked going to work with her mother. Sometimes they went to the hospital. There she could watch as the nurse practitioners and physicians went around looking after sick people. They were trying to make them better. When she grew up, she wanted to be a nurse practitioner just like her mommy. Today they were going to visit sick people in their homes. The first house they went to was where Miss Elletta lived. Miss Elletta, how are you today? Her mother asked. Still having some pain in my legs, the old lady said. I see you've brought your little one with you, she smiled at Nola. Yes, say hello to Miss Aletta, dear. Hello, my name is Nola. And when I grow up, I want to be a nurse practitioner, just like my mommy. Oh, that's very good, said Miss Aletta. Nola watched as her mother took Miss Aletta's temperature, listened to her heartbeat, and gave her a prescription. You'll be fine, Miss Aletta. Don't you worry, Nola's mother said. Nola and her mother visited three more sick people before they went back home. Can, can I go outside and play, Mommy? Nola asked. Yes, dear, but stay on the sidewalk. I will. Nola went into her room. She put on her nurse practitioner's uniform that her mother had bought her. She then picked up her little nurse practitioner kit. She was ready to play nurse practitioner. She went into the garage, got onto her bike, and rode out onto the sidewalk. Ring, ring, ring. She rang the bell as she rode around the neighborhood while being careful to remain on the sidewalk just as mommy had asked. Here comes Nola, said Ellen her friend from across the street. Nola smiled. She liked being called a nurse practitioner. All of her friends knew that she liked playing a nurse practitioner and they always let her look after their dolls. Are there any sick dolls to look after today? Nola asked. Oh yes, said Ellen. Mia has a tummy ache. Won't you come and see her? Nola went into the house. Mia, Ellen's doll, was lying on the bed. Just like she saw her mother do, Nola looked after the doll. She took care of her by taking her temperature, listening to her heartbeat, and giving her a prescription. She'll be fine, Nola said. Just then, Shayna came running in from outside. Nurse Nola, my doll just fell down and bruised her knee. Will you come and look after her? Of course. Nola liked to help during emergencies. 
At the hospital, everybody rushed around doing many things to help the sick people. Now she could pretend to be doing just that. She, Ellen, and Shayna rushed outside to the next house. Mrs. Kogue, Shayna's mother, met them at the door. Hello, Ellen and Nola. Don't tell me. You've come to look after one of Shayna's sick dolls, right? How did you know, Miss Co Mrs. Coke? Nola asked. Well, I see you have your nurse practitioner kit in your hand, and you have on your nurse practitioner outfit. Nola smiled. Everyone knew that she was a nurse practitioner. Hurry, Nola. Dolly, my doll is crying. Nola hurried into the room. Ellen and Shayna watched as she wiped the doll's knees with a tissue before putting on a band-aid. Nola always washed her hands with lots of soap and bubbles after treating her dolls. She loved washing those germs away. Always wash your hands every day. When Nola was done, just like her mother, she said to Shayna, Dolly, you will be fine. Don't worry. Thank you, Nola. You saved my doll's life, said Shayna. The three of them laughed. Nola always had fun playing nurse practitioner with her friends. As Nola got ready to leave, Mrs. Cog came into the room. We're just about to have something to eat. Why don't you all have some? I'm sure your mothers won't mind. This was true. Their families were all friends and the children went from one house to the other all the time. What is this, Mrs. Coke? Nola asked. She had never tasted anything like it before. You mean the stew? It's something we call matoke. We eat it a lot in Kenya, where I come from. We make it from plantain, meat, tomatoes, and other ingredients. It is delicious, said Ellen. I'm glad you like it. It's one of my favorite meals, said Shana. Nola went home with a full tummy, and she was feeling very happy. She'd had a good time playing a nurse practitioner, and she had eaten some delicious Kenyan food. Thank you for listening today. I hope you enjoyed the book. I hope you learned a lot about being a nurse.